VideoTel's Wave to Play is a simple, unique proximity sensor that does not require direct line of sight and can be mounted behind a variety of non-metal materials such as wood, plastic, and glass up to 2 inches thick. Coupled with any of our interactive players, the Wave to Play only requires a control cable and video files labeled 000 and 001 to be loaded on either a USB drive or SD card. In this demonstration, we'll be using a VP71. Simply connect the VP71 to your TV using any of the three video outputs, but keep in mind HDMI will provide the best video quality. Next, connect the control cable from the VP71 to the Wave to Play. Lastly, plug in the power supply to the VP71. If you have purchased the Wave to Play as a bundle with one of our interactive players, we will have preset the player to menu or interactive mode and preloaded two sample videos. Once the player powers on, you will see a sample standby screen. This file is labeled 000 and will loop endlessly until the Wave to Play detects motion. To test the Wave to Play, simply wave your hand over the sensor. Once your hand is detected, an activation LED will be illuminated and a sample video will play. Depending on which model player you have purchased, you may want to add in a custom delay or set the player to a delayed triggering mode as to not start the video over if the Wave to Play detects additional motion before the video has finished. In this demo, the VP71 we are using is pre-programmed to ignore all motion until the video has finished. If you wish to set a custom delay, simply press and hold both the start and stop buttons at the same time until the red LED flashes. Your hands will probably trigger the video, so it is best to wait until the video finishes and returns to the main standby screen. Once it does, press the start button and your sample video will begin to play. An internal timer will also be triggered. Once you reach your desired delay time, simply press the stop button. You will see the red LED stop blinking and stay on solid. Your wave to play is now pre-programmed to ignore any additional wave detections until after the delay period has passed. Please keep in mind this delay is only required if you wish to extend the delay period longer than the video length or you're using a VP71 made before September 2015. If you wish to remove the delay setting, you can do so by holding down the start and stop buttons until the red LED flashes. Next, release the buttons and then press and hold them once again until the flashing stops. Then release the buttons one more time and the LED should be off. The Wave to Play offers four sensitivity options. The sensitivity settings can be considered a distance setting also. The distance to trigger the video will depend on what type of material and how thick the material is in front of the sensor. If you are using a thin plastic or glass and wish to trigger the video only when the consumer's hand is within a half an inch, you can choose the lowest setting. If you are using a thicker material of say wood and you wish to trigger the video when the consumer's hand is within an inch away, you can use the max setting. Changing the sensitivity setting is as simple as pressing and releasing the low or high buttons on the side of the case. When mounting the Wave to Play, be sure not to have any metal anywhere around the case that includes the back or the sides. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to call our customer service department. Thank you.